Hey folks, here we go. Um, it's a little late, but you know what? You gotta hear. Prediction for the Royal Rumble. It's about an hour or two before the show starts. But, I finally, I had some stuff to do today, so I could not get this done early in the morning. So this is what we got. It actually makes, it's, it's very strange that we only got four matches for the entire show and one match, that's for the pre-show. That should not be in the pre-show at all. Miz and Antonio at the pre-show. Do I believe it's going to be all right match? Yeah. Who do I believe is going to win? I don't think they're going to let Antonio lose the belt. But it would actually be a good thing for Antonio to lose it right now because, look, Antonio's had no challengers. The Miz is not doing anything. He can't go up to the, the IC championship because Wade has it. No one's going to care that much about Wade going into the main title scene while he has the Intercontinental Championship. He's got to lose it to somebody. My guess is Wade is going to lose his belt to Ryback. That's who I believe is going to lose the belt to. I could be wrong and I wouldn't mind being wrong at all. But the way the WWE has been booking this stuff, you never know how crazy they are. Really. As weird as it sounds for Ryback to go into the IC Championship, they may actually do it. Even though he should go into the World Championship, that's what he's really needed. But the way they're acting, it looks like they're about to drop him. And he's just going to be forgotten. Because they don't know what to do. I agree with the Off the Rope show. I believe what the Slag Daddy's saying. That they have no idea what to do with him. They were pushing him so well. And by the time of TLC and Hell in a Cell, they lost him. He's gone. Period. So, what I believe will either be... I really believe that Antonio will lose the, lose the belt to the Miz. That's what I believe. Do I believe he's? Do I believe that's the actual truth? No, I think they'll let Antonio keep it. But the best thing would be to let Miz win. Now, um, I'm gonna be throwing some extra matches in this because I do not think they're gonna have just four matches throughout the entire show. If they only have four matches, that will be the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. Because they need more than four matches. This is what I think is gonna happen. I believe they're going to open the show with, hmm, Rogue Scholars versus Hell No. Now, I've already said it numerous times. Hell No must lose these titles. They must lose it. If they don't have Shelby coming down, and I'm saying this again, if Dr. Shelby shows up there and they win the titles, I mean, keep the titles, not win it. If Hell No keeps the titles, with Shelby there, then there's no problem because they're incorporating Shelby into the storyline of Hell No. Even if they have to go up against Rogue Scholars again or Primetime Players or Primo Epico or anyone else. As long as Shelby is there, if there's no Shelby and he is nowhere to be seen and they keep those titles, you can write Hell No off. And you should let go of Rogue Scholars, split those suckers off. Because Cody and Damian Sandow deserve to have better. They deserve better. And being together, even if they're great together, they are not getting anywhere. They deserve better than that. You might as well break them off into single com competitors. But if Hell No loses, it'll actually be much better. But that's if Shelby is not there. Let them lose if Shelby's not there. Next. I believe they're going to have the world championship after that. I do not believe that they're going to have it later on the card. I believe the next match should be in this position, but I don't believe they're going to do it. Last man standing's match between Big Show and ADR. Seeing a repeat of last week. Do I believe they're going to do good work? They probably do good work. Do I believe we're going to enjoy it? For real casual fans that don't really think about the past, they'll probably enjoy it. But the honest truth of it is, we've seen it already. The, the luster of seeing ADR win is gone. If they allowed that match to happen at the Royal Rumble, it would have a way more big impact. Do I believe that Big Show's gonna win? No. 
I do not believe if he wins. If he does win, it's going to be a shock for the simple fact that I do not believe that Dolph is going to come down and get that title. If ADR wins and he's badly incapacitated, then at least you can say Dolph can come after him and then he can go into the Royal Rumble afterward because he's going to choose between one and two. That is still going to happen. He's going to either be number one or number two. Now, we'll get to the Royal Rumble in a few minutes. But honestly, I don't believe Dolph is going to win that title either from ADR or from Big Show, period. They're not going to win it. I'll tell you how it happened, but it's not going to happen. If the Big Show wins, Dolph isn't going to win. If ADR wins, Dolph is not going to win. He's basically going to lose his shot, period. And then he's going to have to go into the Royal Rumble. Now, the next match, which should be earlier, that should be the world title match, will be the Divas Championship. Now, I didn't get a chance to see SmackDown. I'm sorry, I didn't get to get to see it. I was helping a friend fix a computer. I'm not great at computer stuff, but I knew, know some stuff. She was having a problem for two days trying to make it work. So, I didn't get a chance to see it at all. So, if I have to take a guess, Tamina is the one that's going to be facing Caitlyn. It's going to happen because they showed her before, during Raw. Now, how do I feel this match is going to be? It's going to be a high-impact match, but I don't believe Caitlyn's going to lose because they didn't structure this at all. Tamina, I doubt, is going to win. Now, if she does win, I'm all right with it because Tamina never won the championship. I would not mind her winning it. But the question is going to be, are they going to present her? If they don't, you might as well keep it on Caitlyn. That's the truth. Do I believe it's going to be a good match? Like I said, it's going to be a high impact match. It'll actually be probably decently good. Because when Tamina went against Eve Torres, she did very well. No, not Eve Torres. My mistake. When Tamina went up against Beth Phoenix, that was a very good match. Surprisingly very physical. Now, T Caitlyn is quite a strong person in the Divas division. She's a big, thick girl. She got muscle. So if they do a physical match, the crowd will probably be into it. Next. I believe, I don't know if this is true, they're going to give Brad Maddox another shot at becoming a member of the roster. I believe this. I have no idea who he's going up against. None. They made him go up against practically everybody on the roster. If I had to take a guess, if they really want to get him to win, maybe they'll put him against JTG? Someone, oh yeah, that's my cat, sorry. <laughs> maybe JTG would do the job. Do I believe they'll let him win yet? No. But I think that there'll be a match with Brad Maddox. I don't think they're just going to have four matches on the card. If they do, like I said, it'll be dumb. People paid for good money to get something more than just that. But if he's not going to be in a match, he will be seen and probably be talking to Paul Heyman. One part of the night, at least once. Now, I'm sure they're going to have the little bits. And they're going to have a interview with Randy Orton, I'm sure of it. Seamus, of course. They're going to have an interview with um, The Rock eventually. I think they'll be mid into the show with The Rock. And they'll have it probably early in um, the show with pretty much CM Punk. Now, here's a problem. Who comes next? Will it be the Royal Rumble or will it be the World Championship? I do not believe, not the World Champion, WWE Championship, sorry. I do not believe they're going to let the Royal Rumble go, go second to last. I know it sounds like it should be, but traditionally, they don't usually do that. So the World Champ, not, well, I'm saying the World Championship, for some reason I'm thinking about that. The WWE Championship between Rock and Punk will be second to last. I'll be glad if it's last. A nice change. It will be. But do I believe it's going to be last? The WWE Championship? No. So the, that match itself is going to be a good match. It will be. They're going to do good work. People are going to enjoy it. This is what I want to say at the end of this preview. But I believe The Rock will win. 
There's a good chance he won't. But I believe he's going to win. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now for the Royal Rumble. Mm. We got 30 men. We got a possibility that the very ones that were there before was coming back. You never know. Basically, as the Off the Rope Show said, and the great Slag Daddy, the great guru of wrestling. We may have John Morrison. You never know. Shelton Benjamin. Gregory Helms. I wouldn't mind seeing Gregory Helms. I don't think he'll be there. But you never know. Um, since the Pope D'Angelo De Niro has been released, we may actually see him there. I wouldn't be surprised that he would be showing up there. I would be very happy to see D'Angelo De Niro showing up on that show. Just to rub it into TNA's faces, you stupid motherfuckers, you should never release me. I'm going on the show when you know the rain is a bad and I'm going to get more exposure there just for a few minutes than you ever gave me. And I'm going to get a better payday than what you give me. So fuck you. Sorry for the, the nastiness, but that is what I believe if the Pope shows up. Mark Henry, I would be so happy if he came back. Really. Someone I would really hope would come back who did it once before that would really help what they're doing. Karma. Now I'm saying karma for this reason. Because of her miscarriage, and I feel so sorry for her losing her baby. She started a foundation to help women who lost their child who ch lost their child by miscarriage. To really drum up some really good money for her for her foundation. I would hope they would allow her to come back. At least just this one. I would hope she would do it once. Just this once. I know she did it last year. And that was an obligation. I know she probably did that. But I would love her to come back one more time. For the simple fact, I want her to get some more money for her foundation. Because from what I've heard, she's really working really hard to try and set this foundation up for women who lost their children and families. She really cares a lot about this. And I would hope that she would come back just this once to try and give more money for her foundation. That's just me personally. I doubt she'll be there. But that's what I hope. Now the person that I believe that is going to win this, win the Royal Rumble to go into the WWE Championship, and the second to go into the World Championship is this. Who is going to win is someone that is a dark horse, who has won once before, at least a couple of years ago. And I'm going to say this clearly. Undertaker. I'm saying the Undertaker to come back. When do I believe he'll come back? What number? I really don't have a clue. But if I had to re if I had to really guess to make it more traumatic, maybe number 15. I doubt I am wrong. I'm probably just totally wrong. He's not even there. And that's not even a number if he even comes back during this rumble. But if the Undertaker comes back, it will fit what I've said. In my debate of the week, Undertaker versus Rock. If that was the um, debate of the week. If it's mixed bag of wrestling, I'm sorry. But Undertaker versus Rock would be the perfect thing to have for the greatest, wonderful show on earth, which is WrestleMania. We need this match. Having Punk versus The Undertaker, we've already seen something like it a couple of years ago, I think. We've seen them. John Cena with The Undertaker is too soon still. I doubt that this is going to be done at WrestleMania 29. It's going to probably be done at the 30th anniversary. So it's got to be The Rock versus The Undertaker. We need this. This would give The Undertaker the chance to win that belt again. I know The Undertaker doesn't do much during the year. He doesn't. He doesn't once a year. I understand that. But this is what we really need. Even if The Undertaker loses to The Rock which I know he won't. This is the best thing that's going to happen. We need this match. We need Undertaker winning the Royal Rumble. That would give us the most awesome, epic match in the history of this in the last two decades. We're in 2013. The next two, next from 2000 until 2020, 
these two decades won't matter about any other match but that one. One have you heard The Undertaker versus The Rock. You have it, not at a WrestleMania. That's what we need. And that's the person I hope wins, if they even come in. Now, the alternate, I really hope it's not John Cena, but the way they're structuring this is a good chance it will be. The second, second will be, if it's going to be that bad, it'll probably be Sheamus, who will go after the world title again. So if it's not The Undertaker going after the WWE Championship by The Rock winning, it'll probably be Cena. And if it is The Undertaker, the person that's last to The Undertaker will be John Cena and he will go after the world title. It will make sense. They have nothing to do with the world title. John Cena can still be on Raw. He can have a few appearances on SmackDown. I know this is stupid, but it's the best thing I can think of to change it up. We need a change up in the WWE. We need it. Does it mean it's going to happen? No. Like I said, it's going to probably be Cena and Sheamus who's going to win the final. Who's going to be the final two. That's what I believe. I do not believe they're going to let Orton go into the title scene again. Not for a while. I don't believe that. He just came back from the wellness program last year. And he's still kind of doing little bit of penance. Trying to be a good little wrestler. To get back into favor. Because he acted stupid for a second time. So I do not believe that's going to happen. Now. Like I said earlier. This show is very important. We need The Rock to win. I'm saying this clearly. If The Rock does not win, really, WWE is going to lose a huge portion of their shares. They will. It won't be noticeable at first. Their numbers are going to drop very badly by the time of WrestleMania because The Rock did not win the title. It will drop. It's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. They, this is a make or break moment for the WWE. If they do not let The Rock win, no matter if Smart Marks want him to win or Marks, Smart Marks want CM Punk to win. Look, I heard what the Slug Daddy said, and I agree with him right now. By a standpoint of most Marks, they want CM Punk to win because they think he's better because he's an ROH type of wrestler. I can understand it, but if you see it by a standpoint of what makes a promotion work, you must have variation in your product. You can't expect CM Punk, someone who's not been pushed, someone who had, is like in the, nearly the top 10 or isn't, no, actually in the top 10, holding the title more than a year, in the last decade, maybe in a half, and have no interest. In 2011, he was so hot, he could have easily turned the WWE around and they dropped it with him. Right now, he's empty. And if you guys who like ROH so much cannot see to make your guy work, he has to be pushed. And he's not being pushed properly. And he still has the title. You guys are happy because then you're going to have someone who's in the title scene who can wrestle properly. But what does that mean for the show itself in an entirely a whole perspective? It means nothing. Because you're bringing down the product. You're going to go under like ECW did. And a lot of people who are from OH love ECW. ECW went down because they only had one type of style of wrestling. ROH is in the same position it was 11 years ago when it came out. It hasn't progressed anywhere near TNA. TNA is not even close to the WWE, but it's the second in line. If ROH is that good with Jim Cornette, I believe Jim Cornette is still part of ROH. If he's not, I'm sorry. But if ROH is so good, it can't be because it's anti-culture. It can't be that you don't want it to be big and become stupid 
because it, they have big heads due to the fact of the exposure being international. If you want more of your product to be seen and you say, I'm ROH Mark and we have the best product in the world, you may say that now, but honestly, your product is in the dirt because it's barely being seen. So basically, when it comes to CM Punk, yes, he's an ROH guy just like Daniel Bryan is. And even though Bryan is being shown in a tag team, Bryan was in the world title scene. Where did it get him? You had the wrestling you wanted, but the casual fans didn't care. Having just basic technical wrestling and high-flying jumps is, and, and moves is not enough. So we need The Rock to win. CM Punk must lose. Or this product, from this time now, is just going to make a bigger slide down. Particularly what will happen in WrestleMania. If we see, just like the Off the Rope show, and I'm sure the British Fist is thinking it as well, if we see Cena and Rock again, what did we get the first time around? We got a good match. But do you think you're going to get the same thing again? I don't think so. It's not enough. So that's my predictions for the Royal Rumble 2013. Please subscribe to Zane's View. Comment below. Subscribe below. And I hate everything below. It was better when it was above and below. Because then you can vary it. It, it sucks. So I hope you enjoy the Royal Rumble. And I can't wait to see it myself. Have a good night.